All right, good morning, everybody. It's your boy, Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. We are on week four of the 2017 college football season, and it's time for me to talk about the key matches and predictions for this week. And I do have some upset alerts to talk about. Starting with number 12, Florida State. They're going to be hosting NC State um, a little bit early in the afternoon. Now, Florida State is going to be have to play without quarterback DeAndre Francois. He is out for the remainder of the season. And they have been missing out MIA for the past couple weeks due to Hurricane Irma in Florida. So they have been dealing with that. So they haven't played for the past couple of weeks. And NC State is looking to upset Florida State in this one. I think that Florida Florida State should win this matchup. I think their defense is going to keep them in to win the game. Next up, Texas A&M is going to be traveling to Arkansas to face the Razorbacks. Now, I'm going to really be keying on Texas A&M because I have much love for head coach Kevin Slumlin. People are talking about um, the school firing him, and he should be out in most people's opinions. I still think he has an opportunity to reclaim his head coaching um a job at the end of this season but we will see he needs to have some great sec wins and i think that the aggies will beat the razorbacks in this matchup next up an upset alert not really an upset alert but as uh vanderbilt they're going to be hosting number one alabama alabama is going to be way too much for vandy and vandy has been getting a little bit more hype because they are undefeated and they're coming off some a couple of good victories but alabama is going to be way too much for them and let's not forget it is vanderbilt can't really depend on them to really be a good uh contender of the sec conference just giving you some real um talk there Next up, another upset alert as um, unranked California is going to be hosting number five USC. Now, the Trojans actually narrowly escaped my Texas Longhorns last week. And actually, I believe that Cal should be ranked. They had a couple of great victories. They beat Ole Miss. Now, yes, it's not a big powerhouse SEC school for this season, but they still beat an SEC school as well as North Carolina. A couple of non-conference good games to start off the season to, as, and as they head up to this week. Now, I actually was considering this game as my game of the week, but I will give you my game of the week later on. This one, I'm actually going to call up my upset game of the week. I will go with the Golden Bears over the Trojans in this one. I think that quarterback Bowers for the uh, Cows is going to actually have a good prolific game throwing the football. Next up, another upset alert as number 16 to the Horn Frogs of TCU is going to be traveling to uh, Lumpkin to face number 6, Oklahoma State. Now, Oklahoma State quarterback Mason Rudolph is actually having a good sleeper year for this year's Heisman. He's having a great year passing the football, and I think he will lead this team to a victory over the Horn Frogs. Next up, a basketball rivalry game, but I had to call this game as UNC is going to be hosting Duke. I will go with the Tar Heels in this one, only because it's UNC and Duke. I just had to call out a great rivalry between the schools. Next up, number eight, Michigan is going to be traveling to Purdue to face the Boilermakers. Michigan, Michigan's been looking great this season, surprisingly for me, when they had to replace so many players on the defensive unit. They've still been doing a great job running the football effectively for Coach Jim Harbaugh. They still have issues at quarterback, but the ground attack offensively has been doing a great job with Ty Isaac leading the way. I think that the uh, Wolverines will beat the Boilermakers in this matchup. Next up, uh, number three, OU is going to be traveling to Baylor to face the unwinning Bears. They are 0-3. Uh, this should be an easy win for the Sooners, but we've been seeing some great matches between Baylor and Oklahoma over the most uh, over the course of the most recent seasons in college football. I will go with OU in this one. This is an easy victory for the Sooners. Next up, one of my nominees for the game of the week as number 17, Mississippi State, is going to be traveling to number 11, Georgia. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Now, Mississippi State is coming off a great win over number 25, LSU, where I thought the Bayou Tigers was going to beat the Bulldogs in that matchup, and I got that one wrong. Now, this is a little bit of a, a upset alert. I will go with Mississippi State in this one over Georgia. I think that some people believe that LSU is really not a good team this season, and that's why Mississippi State won but Dan Mullen is still a pretty good darn good head coach I think he will lead his team to a victory so it's another upset game of the week I will say but not too much of an upset as I believe as Cal over USC next up another upset alert game between number 20 Florida at unranked Kentucky the Wildcats are undefeated and they can't pull off this upset offensively for Florida though they've been struggling a lot and they had to deal with some last second heroics last week weekend with their Hail Mary pass um 
in the final seconds of the game over uh, Tennessee with a big victory for the Gators. I think offensively they're going to rebound with the ground attack over Kentucky. I will go with the Gators in this one in that matchup. Next up, two unranked opponents with good a uh, good rivalry type matchup as um, unranked Mississippi Michigan State is going to be hosting Notre Dame. We've been seeing some great games between the Fighting Irish and the Spartans, and in this one I will go with Michigan State in this game. I think Mark D Mark D'Antonio is going to have a good game defensively. Next up, the rematch of the uh, Pac-12 championship last season as number seven Washington is going to be traveling to unranked Colorado. Colorado, I believe, already has a couple of losses. I will go with this Washington in this one as an easy victory. Lastly, and certainly not least, my game of the week as number four Penn State is going to be traveling to Iowa to face the Iowa Hawkeyes. This is a major upset alert. Iowa is unranked. And they barely squeaked by Iowa State a couple of weeks ago. But then they rebounded over uh, North Texas, I believe, 31-13. Uh, to 13. I think this is going to be a great defensive showdown. And this is a golden opportunity for Saquon Barkley to move up as far as the, the race for the Heisman Trophy. If he has a big game like we've been seeing this season, not only running but catching the football against a disciplined Iowa Hawkeye team, if he has at least like 200 um, yards from scrimmage, he will be the Heisman front runner, and if the, if, and if Penn State gets the victory, Saquon Barkley will be the Heisman front runner come towards the end of this week if he has a great game and if Penn State wins. For this one, I will go with the Nittany Lions in this game. Iowa has been struggling a little bit. They, like I said, they barely got past the Iowa State Cyclones, who is not a great team. But I think that Saquon Barkley is going to have a great game. And uh, let's not forget that forget about their quarterback, uh, Penn State quarterback, Missourley, Shane Missourley. Missourley, he's a good quarterback, stellar quarterback. They have pretty much all they need offensively. Defensively, they still have to worry about the ground attack for um, Iowa, Iowa um, Hawkeyes. But I think that the defensively is going to hold them enough to win this game to stay undefeated for Penn State. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be on Tuesday morning in which I will give you a recap of week four. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keem McCall. Be easy.